All right, guys. Uh, today we're going to talk about form shooting. So we'll spend a little bit of detail on the basketball here with our elbow placement. All right. So the key is to keep the ball on the fingertips. Right. We want to remember these things. Don't let the ball rest too much in your palm. It can rest in your palm, but the idea is to have the ball sitting on those fingertips and being squared up. Right. All our points square the basket. Uh, toes, knees, hips, our shoulders, nose, eyes, our elbow. Also ending with that pointer finger, all staying straight to the basket. So now let's just talk about our footwork here. Now, because I'm right-handed, I'm gonna have my right foot slightly in front of my left foot, so my right foot will be staggered. And I also wanna have my hips in a ready position, okay? My back straight, I don't wanna be off balance. So if I'm left-handed, it's gonna be the other way around, right? I would have my left foot staggered in front of my right foot, and then keep everything squared to the basket using my left. But since I'm right, I'm gonna switch over, Okay, so just make sure everything, again, score to the basket, have good balance, hips and back, keep your core tight, and then obviously understand where your target is aiming at. Right now, we're saying aim for the center of the hoop, because that'll be the most consistent point on the court whenever you're shooting. It'll be that hoop, not necessarily the rim or the backboard, because that'll change when you're on the side angles, but that center of the hoop is where we want to be aiming and focusing our, our aim and our target. Okay, now, just a few drills. After we have our idea of how we want to hold the basketball and get everything going, we want to make sure that we are um, understanding the drills as well. So there's a few different drills you can do for form shooting. Again, is one is to just go real back to the basics, uh, breaking down the fundamentals, and making sure we're in this stance before we do anything. Raise that arm, level with the shoulder, and then cock it back in our shooting position, 90 degrees. Uh, wrinkle in the wrist, uh, slightly 90 degrees. We want to be in this, in this position right here, getting into our form. And then we go into our one motion shot, ending. So again, remember, remember we want to have that 90 degree angle, uh, wrinkle in the wrist, okay? And then when we go into our shot, we have everything squared up. Shoulder, make sure it's not opening up, staying square to the basket, all right? And then again, ball on the fingertips, relax that left arm, and then we're here, working on form shooting. And then you just raise it up, here, working on our form. Trying to control just the right hand. And then again, when we snap, when we snap, we want to get a nice high arc. Okay, hold your follow through. Snap the ball off your index. Okay guys, so here's the drill from the side angle. All right, again, we want to have those hips back, ready to shoot. Just like as we are ready to shoot in position, and then raise it up. Snap that wrist. Get some good backspin on the shot. All right, guys. Now, after we, you know, you have a set of a hundred, make a hundred around the rim. You can also go where you're only aiming the basket, uh, no rim or swish. So you can play. Work within this drill, work within this area, and just figure out the makes you want to go. I would say start out here with the one uh, arm form shooting, and then we want to then build up after you made your 50 or your 100. Then you want to build up and get to your off hand on the side of the basketball. Now, again, your guide hand is just there to stay on the side of the ball. Okay, your guide hand is just there to stay on the side of the ball. Okay, so we're not touching, we're not touching the basketball. All right, we're staying right here with just the hand on the side of the ball. Okay, next one is, now we have our hand on the side of the ball. Okay, again, you can go around without the hand on the ball, just here on the side, keep that guide hand there, fingertips nice and spaced out, all the other fundamentals stay the same, and then we're here on the side. Now, we're going to regular two-hand form shooting, and now again, you want to stay in that same stance, and then just work on, just get in the rhythm, and shooting. Now, when we shoot, we want to try to end up as high as possible, and emphasize that follow through, right? Emphasize staying on the toes. Again, make sure everything's squared up. It's the time to think about your shot. Go in, shoot. You wanna to try to get comfortable, get high arc on your shot. Release that ball nice and high. Snap the ball. And just make shots. Again, we can go 100 around, two hands on the ball, all net, you can work on switches, or just makes. That's up to you how you wanna challenge yourself. So again, we have the hand on the side of the ball. Going straight into our shot. And making a certain count.
Okay, now that we've gotten around the key, we've made a few hundred shots, a couple hundred shots, depending on how many you're going for. Now you can start advancing and then start working on dribbling and shooting. All right, so you want to dribble and work on your pickup, have a clean pickup into your shot, and then shoot. So you can go right hand, right, you can go left hand. All right, we'll focus on the right. Get it back. All right. You can alternate it. All right. Back to the left. And you can go again in all the spots here, 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 all the way around. All the way around the charge circle. Working on dribble, pick up, shot. Okay. After you've gone all the way around, you can take a step back. And you can start working on action with. Dribbling the ball between your legs, behind your back, and then going into the shot. So something like this. Go right to left. The key is, you don't have to jump still, and just set your feet, and go into the shot. 